Hello guys, welcome to the first video of the third section. In this particular section, we are going to talk about the small applications of Raspberry Pi. In fact, we will talk about how we can make some cool and amazing projects using Raspberry Pi 3. In this video, we are going to talk about the interactive programming on Raspberry Pi. Whatever we will write in the code will be reflected to you physically. For this video, we are going to use a hat called Senset. It is an excellent module made for Raspberry Pi. It is fully compatible with Raspberry Pi 3 Model B and it also compatible with the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B+. This module comes with the 8x8 LED matrix which we can use to show the different type of text on it. This is not the only thing we have in Senset. In fact, it also comes with the sensors like gyroscope, accelerometer, temperature, humidity and barometric pressure as well. You can buy the Senset for just $35, link is given in the resources file. For working on the Senset, we will make the use of a python library called Senset. So without further ado, let me tell you how you can set up the Senset onto your Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. You can also follow the same instructions to install the Senset on your Raspberry Pi 3 Model B plus as well. Now let's come to the installation process. First of all, we need to install the Raspbian operating system on 16GB SD card. I'll not show you the process since we have already done it in the second section videos. Now it's the time to enable the SSH connection on Raspberry Pi. I'm sure you already know how to enable the SSH connection, but if you don't know, then you can refer to the second section videos. Right after enabling the SSH connection, we will plug in the Senset module into the Raspberry Pi 3. We need to mount this module on the top of Raspberry Pi 3 Model B using the GPIO headers. Now we will connect the LAN cable into our Raspberry Pi 3 which is coming out from my router so that we can do the SSH connection into our Raspberry Pi. Now let me give the power to my Raspberry Pi. As you can see here, I'm on my Windows PC. Now let me find the IP address of my Raspberry Pi using the advanced IP scanner. If you don't have the advanced IP scanner, then I will leave the link of this software into the resources file. Now we will install a library called Senset. So for installing the library, let's first do the SSH into a Raspberry Pi 3. Here I'm using the PuTTY software, which is the SSH client for the Windows PC. Let's click on yes. Now we will log in as Pi and the password is default, that is Raspberry. Now we need to set up the Senset into a Raspberry Pi. You can already see on the camera screen, the Senset is already plugged in. Now we need to perform the sudo apt-get upgrade and right after that we will install the Senset library. Okay, so the repositories are up to date. Now let me use this document to install the Senset. First of all, we will install the Senset using the apt-get. Let's paste this in here and hit enter. Now you can see Senset is already the newest version. Now in the very first program we are going to print the hello world on the Senset. Let's create a new program. The usage is fairly simple. Simply copy all this stuff and let's enter this into a file hello.py paste the content here. Okay. Here you can see from the Senset we are importing a module called Senset and we have taken the object of Senset into the Sense and we are using the function called show message. So whatever you will type in here into the string it will be printed on your Senset. So simply press Ctrl X, Y and then hit enter. Now let's run our very first program that will print the hello world on Senset. So let's hit enter. And here you can see guys we just print out the hello world on Senset. Just like that we can also create some other programs. I would encourage you to go through all these things. And here we have another program and what this program does is it will blink the red on the place of X and it will blink the white LED on the place of O. So let's simply copy this program and I'll simply paste in here. Let's give the name of program red and white dot py paste the program here and as always we are importing the senset from the sense underscore hat and we have kept the reference of senset into the sense 
and we are defining a color in the x variable and the color is red and we are also defining the white color in the o variable and then we have created a list and the name of the list is question mark and that question mark is equals to o o o then x x and then three times so similarly we are repeating the things and right after that we have called the set pixels and then we are passing the list into the function so what set pixel does it it will blink the colors over the 8 by 8 led matrix so let's press ctrl x and then y and then hit enter now we will try to run this program now let's hit enter and as you can see guys we have print out the question mark over 8 by 8 led matrix and it is successfully working now i will use some sample programs and i will also give the link of these programs in the resources file and these programs are basically of the humidity temperature and pressure sensor now let's run some sample programs here i have the list of the program so let me simply right click over it and extract the files now what i am going to do is i will simply copy this program into my raspberry pi for that i will make the use of a software called winscp if you don't have this software then i will also leave the link of this software into the resources file here we have the winscp software and into the host name we will simply type in here 192.168.0.112 which is the ip address of our raspberry pi and username of raspberry pi is pi and password is default and uh, port number is 22 and we are using the protocol called secure ftp that is as ftp so let me just click on login and click on yes now here we have all the directories of windows file system and right here we have the directories of the raspberry pi so let me just head over to the desktop let me simply copy all those programs and click on upload and we are uploading on the pi directory so let's click on ok and here you can see all the programs has been uploaded into the pi directory now what i will do is i will try to run every program one by one first of all i will show you how you can see the temperature of the room using the sense set so we will simply run the temperature.py the link of this program will be available in the resources file so don't worry about it now let's try to run the temperature.py and it will show the temperature of raspberry pi over that led matrix so now let's try to run it and as you can see guys the temperature of raspberry pi is 34.77 now let's try to see the pressure of the room for that we will run the pressure.py so let's hit enter and here you can see guys the pressure has just come up over the raspberry pi it is 35.38 now let's try to run the humidity.py and it will show the humidity of the room onto the 8 by 8 led matrix so let's hit enter and here you can see the humidity of the room is 42.36 the main motive of this video was to introduce you with the python programming and not only that you can use such kind of hat to make some amazing project i will recommend you to go with the documentation of sunset modules i will also leave the link of those modules in the resources file and the sample programs are also given in the resources file so don't worry about it